welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a massive haul of the things I have purchased while I've been here in Korea. Most of these items are either fashion related or beauty related. I'm pretty sure the domestic things that I needed you don't want to see. This video is going to be a little bit long so bear with me because this is everything from when I first got here up until now. So if you want to see what I purchased, keep watching. Okay, I'm just going to start with the beauty items. I did buy some facial and skincare items because my skin has been doing really poor here in Korea. I did bring with me the Clinique that I normally use back in the States, but it hasn't been helping. So I purchased some things while here in Korea because of course, who doesn't want to buy beauty products in Korea? What I'm currently using to help me get rid of my breakouts and the blackheads all over my face, okay? I'm using this honey black sugar scrub, which looks like this. And this is purchased from the face shop. On my campus, there are a crap load of stores. So I frequently visit the face shop, which is the, you know, the face shop is what I know the most from the States. So I am using this uh, recommendation by recommendation of my roommate as an exfoliant. I purchased another exfoliant from Nature Republic and it's not really doing the job. And normally what I would use is the Clinique exfoliating scrub, but I forgot it and I really don't want to order it from Macy's and have it delivered over here. I'm not, I don't want to pay all of that. And this is the Honey Black Sugar Scrub, like I said. And it is a peeling scrub that contains honey black sugar, which gives the skin warmth and removes dead skin cells. Now what I will say about this is that it is very harsh on the skin. Although it is natural ingredients, there, although there is honey and sugar as the main ingredients and there's caramel in here, which makes it smell really delicious. I want to eat it half the time, but I shouldn't. It is very harsh on the skin. The recommendation is to use it one to two times, one, once or twice a week. And because I'm, <gasps> bless me. <laughs> It's been so long since I've heard the word bless you, I have to just bless myself. I generally use it three, maybe four, but three times a week because it makes my skin feel very dry and very rough afterwards, but almost in a good way that I know that all the goop that was on my face is gone and it's like new skin coming to life. It's, it's something similar to that, so when you use it, I do suggest you to apply it with a light hand if you're somebody who has very sensitive skin or you might get redness. I don't get any of that so I generally apply one here, 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 here and I usually massage it in for one to two minutes like it says and then afterwards you just feel all your dead skin moving away from your beautiful face and new skin emerging. So this is what I'm currently using and I think I'm noticing results from the last video that I did, the makeup tutorial, um, up until now, I used it twice since then and I think I'm noticing results but not sure, I will keep using this. Any of these products that I'm gonna list, if you would like to see an individual review, let me know. Okay, so moving on to the scrub that I told you I had purchased from Nature Republic, which is a mandarin sugar scrub and it is in the packaging like this. Now. I noticed that most of the scrubs here in Korea, the exfoliants, do have sugar in it. So if you're somebody who has not used sugar on your skin before and you're not sure how it works, maybe you want to try an at-home solution first by maybe honey, sugar, and warm water and boil it and make it into a scrub. You can do it that way instead of purchasing these. These are a little bit on the pricier side because they are like natural ingredients. This one has the same instructions as the other one to apply lightly and to, you know, massage it in the skin for one to two minutes. And, but you should use this one on moist skin. And this is specifically for oily skin. The other one, it didn't really specify what skin type is for, but this one is specifically for oily skin. And it is concentrated for your T-zone. It says it on the instructions, it says apply this to your T-zone. Because most people who get oily usually get it on their T-zone and their forehead. So they say apply it to your T-zone and, you know, massage it in all that goodness and do it for one to two minutes and rinse it off with warm water, bam. 
and both of, with both of these scrubs because they're sugar it's not an easy application in my opinion as opposed to you know just applying a cream and being able to massage it all over your face these applications you, you have to really maybe do it section by section because of the sugar and the sugar and the caramel gets stuck to your fingers and so it's kind of hard to apply and to work it into your skin so it does take some time but if I had to choose between this scrub and the black honey sugar scrub I I've been using this one for maybe a month now and I've been using this one for just maybe a week and I the feel of this one is definitely stronger this one is not as strong um, but maybe I'll do a compare and contrast later on because I, I can't really speak for sure but I purchased this because this one wasn't working for me this one was a little bit pricier than this one staying on the line of skincare but moving on from those products in another video I did about my current nighttime routine you know I'm using the face shop rice water rice water bright product which are these products over here this is the lip and eye remover this is the cleansing cream and then this is the face wash and I still really love this I've been using these products for three weeks nightly for three weeks and I really 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 love this like I, I can't explain it enough I was using the face shop this particular rice water bright cleansing foam when I was in New York this past summer because the face shop is in New York and it's not in Virginia where I live I was using it and I really loved it then and I still love it it's so natural and gentle on my skin and I just really like these products I have a video on it if you want to see it down below and I would highly recommend buying this set because it works super duper well now I purchased this mascara remover from Nature Republic this eye remover this was before I got the um, rice water bright set and I was using this to remove my eye makeup because you know sometimes you just can't really get the mascara and the eyeliner off which is the part that really is the hardest for me they just sticks in my eyes and it's, it makes my eyelashes clump up and everything so I was using this for about two weeks before I got the rice water bright kit and this works really well the only thing I would say is I liked it but then when I got that I stopped using it which is really bad because that rice water bright set just poops on all my other stuff like it just puts every other product I've used to shame I was looking for a gel eyeliner when I was here because I like to use gel eyeliner but I, I sometimes in the States I feel like gel eyeliner is a little bit pricier so I purchased this gel eyeliner from Nature Republic and this is the botanical simple making gel eyeliner and it comes with a brush already inside but I have my own eyeliner angled brush that I brought with me and it just looks like this like a simple black gel eyeliner and I really like this it applies really smooth yeah I really like this one it doesn't dry out my Maybelline one dried out but this one has been, you know, doing its job. I'm actually wearing it right now, if you can see. Actually, I kind of have this, like, bronze makeup look going on. It's nice, right? Let me know if you like it. <laughs> if you like it, I'll do a tutorial on it. And I'm growing out my eyebrows, trying to make them a little bit thicker. But look, I'm still breaking out. These are, maybe you can see a little bit closely now where I'm breaking out. Most people wouldn't show to you where they're breaking out, but we're family, right? So I'm going to show it to you. So I'm breaking out over generally on my eyebrows and up here in my forehead and I had some cheek breakouts but since I started using the black sugar scrub the cheek breakouts have went away and the the white stuff sorry guys that oozes out of your out of your pimples or breakouts or whatever that has gone away since I started using the scrub so I I, I believe the scrub is working so hopefully that's what's going on the last makeup related item that I purchased here is just this nail polish. I just purchased this pastel green nail polish which looks like this. I haven't had time to apply it yet. Um, I just purchased it from Olive Young and Olive Young is uh, Olive Young is a store that has imported beauty products like the stuff you would not normally see here like Revlon and Organics and Maybelline and those types of companies are in Olive Young so Olive Young carries the foreign beauty products you know since I'm in Korea I have to buy face masks right now every now and then the face shop does this like 
50% off sale and it's huge. And I always go in there and I stock up on face masks. This is my, these are what's remaining. These are what are remaining from the last time I went to the face shop and bought masks. What I have left is this Bright Eyes Modeling Gel Patch, which is just patches that you put under your eyes to decrease puffiness and when you know, to decrease puffiness and redness, you know, when you first wake up. I used this my first day here in Korea from being on the plane for 16 hours and I really liked it. I did notice that the puffiness under my eye went down. This is one of the pricier ones. This is by about like 1200 won. And I have what's left. I have an avocado mask and I have a rice mask. An avocado mask and a rice mask. And the avocado mask says it's a moisturizing and nutritioning mask sheet containing avocado extracts. Providing extra nutrition helps re-energize dry and rough skin. I probably, I think I use this the most um, after I use the scrubs on my face because my skin becomes so dry after all of that. So that's when I use these. And then the rice mask is a brightening and complexion improvement mask sheet containing rice extract to smooth in and brighten dull and rough skin. This is probably more of the ones that I would use, like not for any special reason, just because I need to put a mask on my face. There are a lot of beauty products here with rice in it, and the rice is intended to brighten and awaken and rejuvenate your skin. This is the Smile Foot Mask. Now, the thing that I really like about Korea is you can get a mask for anything. Like, anything. Feet mask, I've seen nipple mask, I've seen lip mask. I've seen, of course, face mask and eye mask. There's mask for masks. Masks. Mask. There are masks for <laughs> everything. I haven't used the foot one yet because it was a little pricey. A little bit pricier than the others. And I really, I'm, I'm saving it for one of my, like, spa treatment days. My roommate has used several of these. Um, they are just socks. Socks for your feet, which is so cute. And you you probably should use it after you give yourself an at-home pedicure, which I have not had time to do. But I'll do it soon. But this one's probably around 3,000 won, which is the most expensive of all the masks. Which is probably why I'm saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> FYI, since I purchased these masks, since I came to Korea, every time I talk to my boyfriend, who you all know from the other vlogs, he's always like... Damn, he's always like, damn baby, why are you acting so Korean now? And I think his birthday's coming. I think I'm gonna send him some masks. What do you think about that? He thinks, he doesn't care much for his skin, but I care for his skin, so I'm gonna send him some masks. Maybe some nipple mask and whatnot. Now that we are done with all the beauty products, we are going to move on to the clothing and fashion products. I'm probably gonna start with shoes because there are less of them. So I've only purchased two shoes here in Korea. I've, I'm trying to purchase spring shoes, spring and summertime shoes, because winter has slowly been disappearing, thank God. Um, and we're transitioning in the weather, so I need new shoes. Now there is this thing that happens here in Korea every now and then, at least at my school, where there is this pop-up sale. There will be these guys who come to the campus and they just unload a shitload of shoes, excuse me, a crap load of shoes, and the pop-up sale, the shoes are only 5,000 won, which is roughly like three to four dollars. And you get the most amazing looking shoes if you can beat all the other girls who are scrambling to get some shoes as well. I managed to get some shoes during the pop one of the pop-up sales, thank you Jesus, and it was a rainy day. And my day hadn't been going that well, but then the pop-up sale came, and I got some shoes. I got these babies over here. These black and white heel booty babies over here. Now, this type of, I noticed that Korean women like to wear heels a lot, i.e. these, to class, but I don't wear these kind of shoes to class. These are my evening and weekend shoes and going out shoes. I'm not going to wear these shoes to class, but they look like this, taking out red bottoms. <laughs> And I still have the plastic on them. I don't know why I still have the plastic on them. And I think these shoes are super adorable and they are super comfortable. Now the thing about the pop-up sales that what they come is you better know your shoe size because they are 
divided into shoe sizes and then you have to pick your shoe based on the shoe size and it's a mess and every shoe is 5,000 every single shoe is 5,000 so I got these for like about three American dollars <coughs> oh Jesus <coughs> oh Jesus take the wheel <coughs> yeah so I got these shoes and they are super adorable and super comfortable the only thing is at the time I wasn't really aware of my Korean shoe size and so I think I <laughs> I can only wear these shoes with like um, stockings or knee highs or something that allows my foot to get some slip because with no stocking or knee high it's a little tight and I might get uncomfortable throughout the night but with it it's perfect so these babies over here another thing about Korean shopping is when you go to the market marketplaces and you go to the individual sellers you can haggle prices down so these are my newest babies. I just purchased them this weekend, and if you saw my Instagram post, you saw. I've been looking for a pair of white shoes, because I, I love white shoes, and white seems to be in for this season. And I really wanted a platform shoe. Now, it was really hard for me to purchase white platform shoes, because there were, first of all, there were so many white platform shoes to choose from. And the people I was shopping with don't really care for white. So, <laughs> I couldn't really get much opinion, many opinions on the shoes that I wanted, but I figured these would be good enough where I could still walk around campus with them, because I do like a little bit of length and um, bulk so that they're comfortable, but they're still, they still have the cutouts where it's appropriate enough for spring and summer. I got these for a haggled price of 30,000 won, yeah. So which is around maybe like $28? I don't know, but that's pretty cheap because most of the shoes in Korea are like $50,000, $60,000. So the fact that I was able to talk him down to $30,000 was super great. And might I just add that the reason why we were able to get these shoes for $30,000 is because the man was very impressed that I could speak Japanese. And he was very proud of me being a foreigner here in Korea and not one of the bigger cities, but in one of the smaller cities and being brave enough to haggle things in Korean and not just acting like an American as many would assume us to just be, whatever that means. So there are these babies, which I am like so looking forward to wearing. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. So seeing as how my camera is gonna die in like four minutes, I'm probably just gonna end this video here and then make a part two version, which will feature the clothes. So yeah, that's it for this video. Should it be? So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye. Janet.